Hey y'all, I am back again with the shimmery blue. Oh, I made the video. Well, I, listen, when you come to my house, I have a doorbell. And on that doorbell, it tells you before you ring my doorbell that if you ring my doorbell, you are being recorded. Yeah, and the recorder, once, once you ring it, I could put it to where... I could record everything. Everything you say at my door, you ring that doorbell, you are subjecting yourself to being recorded. It's plain and simple. And the reason why I have it, which I shouldn't have to explain, but I am because I feel like I, I could do what I want. I got that doorbell maybe like two years ago. I got it when I moved over here, and I noticed people was knocking at my door, and I don't have no peephole. Because I wasn't going to get the dope bell. I mean, I wasn't going to spend over $100 for something. I felt like, you know, you're knocking. I got a peephole if I want to get up to the door. Because in here, it's not that big. So I could have got up, you know. No, I, I said, what if somebody come to the door who you just don't want to come? Like, for instance, I was raised, I don't open my door for anybody. I'm going to tell y'all what really, really convinced me to get the dope bell. What really convinced me to get that dang on doorbell was when a man, I was asleep in my room, and a man, I guess I heard the helicopters, but not in a million years, not in a million years, I would have thought he would have, you know, knocked at my door, right? And it was late at night. The helicopters woke me up out of my bed, at my sleep, because it was like they was low, like the helicopters was, like, I guess they was zeroing in on his head. Because you heard them blaze, them blaze a lot. When the helicopter is kind of, like, low down by your house, not, like, all the way, all the way up in the sky, no, you will hear them blaze. I don't care what nobody said. You going to hear them blaze. So I had got up. I heard pop, 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 bamming at the door. So for that quick second, and my window sits so low, I don't. That's one thing I don't like. But I, you know, I feel secure. But he was, he was, he was trying to open my door, y'all. He was literally trying to open my door. Real talk, he was trying to open my door, and that ain't the first time it happened in Miami. Somebody tried to kick in my door, and guess what? I was asleep, and this man was trying to kick in my bed door. I don't know. Somebody unlocked my uh I believe somebody tried to set me up with that because somebody I had I always kept in Miami you have bar doors I think in Los Angeles they had them bar doors too anybody know what I'm talking about they uh uh like bars around your house now that I think about it you literally encased in your own shit but anyhow somebody had unlocked the back one and I always check my doors before I leave my house and that back door was locked. It was. I was asleep. My mama came to me in my dream. I had just left the dentist. My mama came to me in my dream. Real talk. It made me get up. I got up. I went. I grabbed the knife. I remember. And by the time I went to the back, I'm looking at him. He trying to kick my door in. Man. I yelled, you know, because... To be honest, y'all supposed to yell to bring that attention to you. See, back in them days, people would help you. Now, nah. <sighs> people look at you, get stumped down. That's why I tell the ladies, if you can get your concealed weapon, get it. If you can get you a can of mace, get it. If you can get you a taser, get it. Because we are not stronger than men. We are not equal to men. That's why I tell people, man, don't put me in no man category. Calling me no woman. I mean, no strong man. I'm a woman. Don't do me like that. I need help with my bags. The bags are too heavy. I'm a strong independent. No, I'm not. I'm not strong. I'm, I'm very much independent. But I need help at times. I'm being honest. The way they use the terminology independent, nah, they try to use it for everything. The man, no, I can't do that. And I will never do that. I got to get a man his props because without a man, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, we women, we ain't back, we ain't back to giving virgin birth. So right now, we need that man. We need that male. Real shit. And, you know, men come from women. Feel me? But anyhow, they came. 
and I deliver. And I didn't depend on, like, you know, like getting so passionate the way I did. I think the ancestors were speaking literally through me, cause I, I've had, I've had religious people knock on my door for years, and I never, and you know, I think the reason why I did what I did was because they are so young, they still got a chance to think for themselves. And I hope I sparked a, a conscious awareness of a thought in them. You know, I don't have all the answers, but I know one thing, religion, no, nah, it ain't it, babies. Y'all got so much to offer, and they, and she got locks in her head. Don't y'all, don't she know the representation of locks? To have locks in your head is a fucking privilege, because everybody can't get locks. See, I'm gonna make it, I'm finna break it down to y'all. Some people may not like what I'm finna say, but it's true, because you can look at how I look. You have locked hair, and you have dreaded hair, okay? It look totally different. Can't nobody tell me that. It, it doesn't. I call it for what it is, okay? And take it how you want to take it. But warriors, warlocks, and then I think you had a tribe called the Dread Tribe. I read about that, but I, I don't know. You know. I had to look that up again, but I know one thing. Down here in Florida, we call them locks or wicks. Yeah. Some people call them dreads, but mainly down here, we call them locks, real talk. Mm-hmm. Let me lock my hair, girl. I'm finna lock their hair. Oh, I gotta do. I gotta do some locks today. They don't say I'm finna do somebody dress. They don't say that down here. Real talk, like they said locks. And her hair was so beautiful. It was. And her essence was so beautiful. She was. They will be rewarded, but not in the heaven that they think, because the heaven could be created right here. They out here recruit. Man, take y'all ass home and go make some children. Make your mamas and daddies proud if they're alive. Y'all like here, but shit, that may be the reason why they in it. But I told them, if y'all keep recruiting people, y'all gonna push y'all spot out of heaven. And my friend texted me. He said they couldn't even answer your question why. He couldn't. He couldn't. I hoped he walked off with that. Because after I said what I had to say to all two of them, both of them, I was so loud, my neighbors heard me. My neighbors in one video, I didn't make that video private, but I probably take it off. It's about 18 minutes long. I was like, damn, maybe I was just a little too harsh on them. But when I think about it, I couldn't have done it no other way. That was the energy force through me. Like I said, I had already ate all them damn uh, philosophy and mushrooms last night. And I had to wait on that stuff to break down. Yeah. Oof. Oof. But anyhow, that's how it went. It came to my door, and I delivered real talk. They young, man. To be honest, that, that lady, young lady, she can't be no more. They can't be no more than in their 20s. I can guarantee them. I, I, I'm, I'm probably, man, yeah, they can't be no more than in their 20s. For real, for real. They can't be. Real talk, they cannot be no more than in there. And it's hot outside. I can't wait till they wake up. I mean, uh, awaken. And and not only that, uh, if if what Elder 360 say is true, that means our, our vibrations give us our thoughts, feelings, urges, and attractions to do. And we all respond to it. One of them was questioning their religion. Yeah. It was the vibe was they was questioning it. It can't it can't be no other way when I think about uh the law of vibration. We only attract what we what we're thinking. Some yeah. So one of them was thinking about their religion. Like damn boy, I, I could feel that energy now, like damn, I really wanna I really wanna lead this shit. Like they, they tied into this cult. Gangs of cults, too, they all the same because somebody giving them orders that they follow. In spirituality, you following what's right. Like, it ain't no laws in spirituality. I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's like the law of repetition. What I put out, I get back. I don't, I don't give. I don't say, oh, it, it, the devil made me do it. It's the devil's fault. And 
I don't do that. I take full accountability for when I do something and it don't go right. And I know how to apologize. Yes, remember when I apologized to that witch? I still think she fake and she sure ain't gonna, ain't gonna read my damn wrist. You can't even read uh, energy. So how the hell I'm gonna let you read my wrist? <clears throat> and it's more of that video with the Jehovah Witness. It's more of it. But I'm, I'm gonna chop it up in some pieces. I'm gonna pick out my favorite parts because the video is a long video. It's not too, too long. But I shut my door. I shut it slowly because I kept telling him. It's like he didn't want me to leave. I said, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave. This man was still standing there like they wanted to hear it. Like, I promise on everything I love. And they made me cry. I came in here and I cried. It's on another video. And I ain't make it private because of that. No, other reasons. Maybe after I put all the other videos up of them, then I put that one up. I, well, it's already up, but. Yeah, they got that work today. And it's funny how, it's, how it went. That's some reality after shit. Because I'm going to be honest, I wasn't thinking about. I'm going to try these. I wasn't thinking about. Lunchtime snacks. I wasn't thinking about uh no Jehovah Witness knocking at my damn door. Hell, they already knocked at my uh <laughs> hey, they already knocked at my soul sister though yesterday. Yeah. Oh, oh, why would you do it? Why? Oh, why? Friend takes me, he said, damn. Oh, this got no telling. Oh, okay. Oh, it's natural chocolate organic. Okay. Mm. I had to go down like that. Because one of them was already thinking about their damn religion. And I told them who they worship too. I broke it all down to them. I haven't showed them the original Bible coming forth by day. I ain't even had time to pull it out my other books. That's my specialty right there. They hit them right there. I'll be back. You know the hell you won't. Not after I get to putting this work on you. And what you gonna do? You gonna let this shit marinate on your consciousness. And what you gonna do? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never get that loud when hold your whole my whole life of, of, of handling them. There's something special about them. There's something different. I can't put my finger on it, but they're forced to be reckoned with, and that's why they want the energy. I told them they're God, too. You're a co-creator. Yes, you are. Don't never think you're not. It was your choice. Hopefully, if you wasn't, I should have asked them, but once you become an adult, You don't have to stay with what you was born with when it comes to material things, okay? And how you, it tell you to think. You could think for yourself. Because if you don't, that, that energy that you don't use, somebody else will. That's a fact. That's why when True Life Story put up that video, I reasoned with it because I had already knew that. And it's true. That's why you got to use that energy. That's a fact. Let me tell you something. Cut off your refrigerator, right? Cut off your stove and everything. Just to prove a point. For 30 days. Don't cut off the breaker now. No. Just cut off all unplug it. 
and see, you, you gonna still, you gonna still pay for some electricity some kind of way. I'm gonna guarantee you that. Gonna try to come knock at my door, ten o'clock in the, in the grand rising, and you got that work. But after I gave it to him, right? It's like everybody left. It had to be like 10, 11, 12. It had to be, had to be a lot of them. When I saw that Mexican indigenous lady out there with that beautiful child, man, y'all got them babies out there. That's child abuse, y'all. That's child abuse to make your child walk in that song for something you believe in. Get that child, get that child time to be a child, man. And then when I told him religion ain't the way, right? How about he agreed with me? Then he from the Bronx. He from the Bronx. How the fuck did they get him? Do y'all listen? When I say how did they get him, cause the environment of the Bronx is very, very conscious, man. I'm surprised. Like I always knew upstate north, like New York, right? I always respected them people up there. You know why? And, and in North Carolina too, they, they, man, they they pushing it, they pushing it, that 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 that, that uh, they pushing their awareness, man, and it can't not be denied. Even in California, mm-hmm. there's certain places that's pushing it, like Miami. Miami been on that for real, for real. Like, man, if, if people Baptist down there, that's because they really want to be real talk. Like, the choice is yours, like, mm-hmm, like, up here, it ain't like Dade County where I'm from and Dade County where I'm from. Man, there's so many conscious buildings, like, with the onk everywhere, the who, and I used to see this stuff as a child. Come on, now. I used to go to the African Cultural Arts Center. They knew that, you know, true Africans don't, they know religion ain't start with them. Especially Christianity. They know that. Come on now. I'm going to post this one. Yeah, I made the other one private. My neighbors was in the back. They were like, damn, if they didn't know how I thought concerning religion, now they know. I'm like, yeah, I know the Bible. I do. I, man, I've been studying it. But listen, my grandma, she was aware, right? But when my mama... Transcendent. It's like she fell in that deep hole. Like she felt like she, I, I, I would, want, I would want to say she felt like she, she was let down, like hard blow. You feel me? And then my, my uncle, then my, 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 my uh, my mother. So I could, I could understand, you know, and you know, even when she went to Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? She knew, she knew. I being around Yahweh, been Yahweh. They gonna knock it, and over here, you know, I got like I told y'all, I'm the same person with many different names. They called me by my nickname that I've been that I've been known as for years, like years, years, yeah, years. Like over, and shit, I wanna say, I'm gonna say, twenty five. Somebody called me that name and I stuck with it because I liked it. If I decide to put a small snippet of that video, I might. That's what I'm gonna do instead of all that other shit. But that name, come back. I'll be back. No, the hell you won't. You ain't coming back here. What you finna do? You finna let this shit sum on your mind when I ask you, you and your wife. Why? Wasn't the slaves on the plantation not allowed to read no other book but the Bible when our ancestors wrote plenty of books? That's what you finna go do. I ain't coming back here no more. But I be that's before I got that's before I got the schooling. You like, oh 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 um. when I answered the door, he was like, I I'll be back. Um No, you won't.
I'm not at this house. Because now you know what I'm working with. Before I leave, I want to say this. Because it's in my heart to say it. Shout out to all the reality hackers. We sparking the we sparking the consciousness of where we are sparking a consciousness, awareness of thought. Taking somewhere where you haven't thought it. Mm-hmm. It's real. We making them think, cause it really is. A lot of people don't think. They can't. That's why it's the saying go. If you don't think for yourself, somebody else will make the, the decision for you. And is there anything else I would like to say? Uh, I ain't want to be that, you know, uh, only behind, but I had no other choice. It was the energy that was rolling through me. I had no other choice. And I'm out. Hey.